Hey guys, it's the Silly Cloth here today, and so this is Monster Legends Guides video, and we're just telling you guys how to get back to school chess, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so before we get into it, I am recording this video early, so the back to school chess will not show up, but these will be ways that you will be able to get them once the event starts. So let's just go ahead and get started with the first way, which is going to be uh, through the packs shop. So the back to school chess will be all the way on the left, and you will just click free, and then claim it like that. You can do it every six hours. I actually thought you could do it every two hours. It might change when the back to school chests get put in. But for now, it says six hours, so just keep that in mind. And then the next way is going to be through the breeding event. Whenever you breed a monster, you will get a back to school chest right here instead of a summer chest. So yeah, definitely go and do all the breeding events during the back to school event. And then another great way is through the daily missions. If you go into daily goals, you will go into here and you will see that you will get a back to school chest after completing all of your daily missions. I believe it will replace the Kalita special mission. So yeah, go and do that every single day. And then you'll also be able to get them out of the main events like the mazes, the races, and stuff like that. So participate in those once the back to school event starts. And then you'll also have a dungeon that you can do inside of seasonal dungeons instead of getting summer chests out of this one you'll get back to school chests and of course this dungeon is repeatable so definitely make sure to do it as many times as possible during the back to school event and then you'll also get back to school chests out of these events like the gold fever the breeding one the food one all of those you'll get them in the first node right here so definitely make sure to do these as well. And then as you collect back to school chests, you'll also be able to collect back to school tokens. And you can use those to flip over cards inside of the card flip challenge. And you can get free mythics out of that. So I definitely suggest that you guys go ahead and do that. So yeah, of course, try to get as many back to school chests as possible in order to open them and get those tokens in order to use those tokens to get new mythics. Because of course, that is very worth it since they're free. And then last but not least, they will probably also have some links to get back to school chests. I will either make a new video on those or i'll put them in the comments of this video so keep an eye out for either one of those two things since of course those links are just free chests you don't have to do anything for them you just click a link get the chests and then get them in game so yeah that is definitely the easiest way to do so yeah that is going to be it for this video let me know down in the comments if you guys have any other ways to get back to school chests even though i think i did them all and i see you guys in the next one over the like share and subscribe goodbye